Good, good morning, my viewers, or good afternoon. Tracy is again with me. She will be asking me questions. The live stream, not live, but uh, she has the questions from your... Uh, from viewer questions. From sending to her. Thank you so much. And I would like to inform everyone that on Saturday at 6 p.m. my time, I have a meeting on Zoom with Mel Dor. I don't know if it will be right away it will be probably posted right away after so around seven eight o'clock probably it will be before even that yeah so you can look forward to that collaboration if you have questions that you want her to ask him make sure that you write them in the comment section below uh, on this uh, under this video mm -hmm. because i don't have access to her questions and i will see her on saturday <laughs> but not before okay don't forget to like comment subscribe and share the videos too thank you so much and thank you for, for your wonderful comments and uh, gabby's body was found that so i'm very sorry that she is not anymore with us even we knew right away that that was the case because he wouldn't leave her and she would make a you know if she will be alive, then parents will know about this. So it was obvious. Now he is hiding. And on the live stream, I was just a moment ago, and I saw this symbol that he is letter L, like that. So he is somewhere, but because of the camera is opposite, so it's... Um, north from the uh, his parents place to the um, right or to the uh, east so that that's i think where and because this letter is symbol like for hanging themselves as well so i i think he is probably not anymore with us he probably committed suicide he was very depressed and it's really unbelievable that young people were not able to, to help themselves. And they were straight kids. They, they Nothing about drugs was said, so that they were good kids. Um, okay, thank you everyone for, for emailing and questions. And remember that if you would like to send some in for next time, you can send them to psychicvioletta.questions at gmail.com. Thank you. Okay, so my first one is from Tara. Uh, now, Tara wrote to us a while ago regarding German elections, and at the time we were trying to figure out all the different parties, so she's actually narrowed it down for us a little bit better. Okay. Um, so they have their elections coming up very soon, and Tara's very interested to know who will succeed Angela Merkel. Um, and she says she has certain power in world politics, and I think it's not without any importance who will take her place. So um, there are three persons that she thinks are in question. Um, the first is part of the Conservative Party, Armin Lachette. I'm probably not saying the right names correctly, but I apologize. So Conservative Party, uh, Socialist Party, and Green Party. I, I think feel like I'll just say that to make it a little bit easier to use. So do you see it more likely Conservative, Socialist, or Green Party in succeeding? I see the second one. Socialist? Socialist. German socialist. Because I see this one going that way. This one has two uh, two fingers and then this one's uh, like that. So I think that that will be the main party. Okay. And I was right about Trudeau. He is he won. <laughs> she is not happy, but I, am, I, I prefer him than the liberals, so I'm, I'm happy that. Uh, so we might not argue, we might not like the same things, but I love if you. If you get his ethics in order, maybe there would be a different story. But, but uh, no one is perfect ever in the, the so the second con uh, one, two, three. the winners they will be leaning on the other parties for support so they might not have the 
majority on the Congress, and, but there will be a good party. People will like the, the party. Huh. Okay, thank you, Tara, for that question again. Thank you. Um, pardon me as I scroll here. Okay, my next question and is... Tr uh, talking about uh, Trudeau, he just gained two seats, so he didn't really get what he wanted, and $640 million went out of the way. I think that's what irritates most Canadians right now the most, is it just feels like the election was such a waste of money, especially right now when we are... Our, our hospitals are really struggling and that money could have gone to such better things that we really need right now. So I think that's where a lot of Canadians are feeling. He wanted to bitter. have more power in the Senate or Congress, whatever. Mm -hmm. and uh, But he didn't get that. No. But our prime, um, premier in Alberta will be out of the window, so out of the door. Um, okay, from Jan. Michael Flynn is endorsing a black woman candidate for Secretary of State election in 2022. It's also rumored Betsy DeVoe may run for governor. This is scary. The hatred for Whitmer is, um, I'm sorry, palatable. Thank you. There we go. There's my mouth working. Palatable in our state, and she is doing a wonderful job. We have a Republican legislature that stops her from advancing her agenda and took her powers away for any COVID response. How do you see the next Michigan election? Will the ladies of Michigan survive the Republican onslaught? Three cards. One. Two. Three. Betsy Devois will be like a broken, the flower who fell down. Like wilting wilt with what's mean like when it's like dying and it's wilting yeah. and curling in yeah so i don't see her being the main player i think uh, why mike flynn is so important that he <laughs> endorses black woman and there will be so much fight a lot of celebrations king will win oh not women's and there will be a lot of disagreements, a lot of fights, but, uh, and three of cups, symbol of women's here and king. I wonder if that is supposed to symbolize Mike Flynn and, and his, and then the support of the women? Support of the women, but I don't see, I, I saw Betty the uh, uh, like being not fresh. <laughs> so hopefully she is not the winner because she, she is the multimillionaire, and she was uh, running the. She was secretary of schooling, and she was really bad doing that job. So, well, where is her obsession to be in the power? I don't understand. Uh, okay, from Barbara. Uh, she says, "I'm a Biden supporter. With that in mind, I find it disturbing how many immigrants have been crossing our border since he became president." around 100,000, and they are not mandating vaccines. My question is, why isn't the Biden administration addressing this differently head on? And will there be fallout from this situation for people in Texas and around the country? Three cards. One. Two. Three. I see the wheel in the shape that um, long time ago those ships were like the steering wheel no no this uh, it is the wheel um, for the steamship and behind there is that pedal that is moving the water so the wheel is moving forward oh steamboat steamboat yes yes and And the steamboat. The wheel that the water ran through? Yes. And it's going and going like that. I'm sorry. So it has moving forward symbol of primitive work. I think it is all about the workers. They want to bring as many working people to USA. We don't know who is paying for those people to come into USA. Someone is uh, paying for the trips. 
someone is paying the tickets for the, the plane, some for, for tickets for the, from Haiti, they can't just walk. They have to fly or, or go by the boat. And it is all the primitive machine of, uh, you know, to move the, the, for the steaming. So there is something that we are not, but they are taking the jobs from Americans. So that should be kind of under control. Some of them will be sent back. The strong one will stay and it's all about money, juggling with the money. So they will be trying to keep them as much as possible. But they don't want young troublemakers. So they are sending some of them back without families and so on, because that will rise the crime. But the, the women with the small children, they want to keep them as a cheap laborers. That, that's my feeling. And it's not uh, a favorite for the Biden, but someone is doing this. Whoever is doing that, they just have the money to, to spare and bring those immigrants by thousands and millions, not thousands uh, millions, but but a lot. Mm -hmm. So that that's something that it's not fair for for Biden. I don't think he's happy about that. He is not, and Kamala is not happy about that. And I understand the concern with with um, because they have the to spend too money to to, uh, to send them back. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, it, it will be a lot of between good apples. There will be a bad apples, and that will the crime will be growing. And especially when you have young men who are not educated, who just want to have a freebie. Okay. Uh, from Sharon. Uh, were there really any people at the January 6th insurrection there by accident? If so, why didn't they leave when the first bit of trouble started? Three guards. One. Two. Three. There were some people who were by accident. They were just curious how this will go. So they are not the first one who was there. But eventually they were followers. There is so many followers every time something like this has happened. And we all were, at least I remember in Poland when there was accident, I was check mm -hmm. who, if there is someone that I know or whatever. So we are sometimes curious and we will stop and look who, who was in the accident. Over here, we don't have that much well, traffic. But some... It's the same, though, like, right, when an accident happens on the highway and everyone slows down. I mean, part of the reason we slow down is for safety, but also to but we can't... Up, we're curious by nature. Oh, yeah, and we are curious, and that, that's what it is. The journey will be hard for, for those ones, even if they they didn't have the, the, you know, reason to be there, but they were... Fascinated. It's like watching the magic. They, they wanted to see what was going on, and uh, and they were not completely bystanders because they, they want to see how Trump will be on the rally. So they were supporters some ways. Oops. Oh scared me. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, from Lady T. Regarding, regarding, regarding attorney Lynn Wood, I am interested in why this gentleman continues to requ request or election results to be checked. Sorry, continues to request for election results to be checked. Any ideas regarding Lynn Wood, attorney? Three cards. One, two, three. A symbol. A dog who ha who is after operation and has that uh, collar. Oh yes, the cone, the cone of shame. <laughs> so uh, he don't take information from 
other sides. He has his information who are coming from Trump. And Trump is even still asking Georgia that they will notify him as a president. So uh, this guy is getting the you know information just from one source and he thinks it is the right source. I don't know how he can. Him and Don Don are in the same party. He wants to give him a good shoulder advice because he's a lawyer and he feels powerless. So he, he's trying his best to, to prove that he was fighting with the good intention. Okay. Did he lost already his uh, uh, power to to be a lawyer? Because I know some of them lost the ability to to uh, to have the to, to have the, the license or license or suspended. Yes. Yeah, so. Um, okay. This uh, has two questions in it from Vivian. Uh, her first one is: Will the president of Russia, uh, Putin, resign, or will he be forced out of office? Three cards. One, two, three. It looks like he is ready for a party. He is making his tie ready and the clock, face of clock. So I don't know if it's his time to, to resign because if he will be resigning, he will be fighting. This one is I'm ready to run for another he is worried. He is worried, and Mother Russia is, uh, you know, worried about this. But he will be making so many decisions good for him, so he will still be able to to. And on the live stream, I said that he, I saw them dismissing a lot of those uh, ballots, so they were they were cheating right away, shredding the ballots who were not popular for for. For him. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, the second part of this question, will the president of China, uh, Jinping, resign or be forced out of office? He got the kind of life census to be a president. One. At least 10 more years. Two. Three. Oh boy. toilet seat on his head with the lid. They will put lid on him. Why do I see this frame? He will be framed about something. They will have some reason to frame him because of the woman, the work that he is doing and playing behind the scene, boyfriend, girlfriend somewhere. So he might be doing something that is not appropriate by his party and uh, he might have that that's what the that kind of frame I remember the once I saw frame for mother-in-law <laughs> kind of that frame from the toilet seat so uh, he will be framed at some way and he will have some legal issues okay uh thank you for that question thank you it, it is that's what i'm seeing and i understand that that's what kind of how you're interpreting that <laughs> yeah and frame is usually a nice square but this one was on his head and the lid is so they will put lid on him and but i don't know how far ahead i'm seeing okay and I don't want any hackers coming to me because I said that. Uh, from Dian, uh, what, what's the real reason Biden doesn't support the elimination of the filibuster rule in U.S. Senate, despite a push by many Democrats in the U.S. Senate to get rid of it? Three cards. One. Two. It's like he's holding his finger on on that and he's 
I don't understand why, but he, he still wants to have some power. It's about cheating, because if the other party will have the power, they could cheat as well. So this will be the for the love of people and the law, respecting the law. So he thinks that filibuster was de developed to kind of control the other party when they are in power. But uh, so he's uh, he tried to be as honest as possible. Okay, thank you for that question, Dian. Um, I thought this would be a, a good one to finish with. Um, Saint Margaret from Costello was blind was born blind, a dwarf, um, hunchback, and barely able to walk. She was abandoned by her parents because they were so embarrassed and ashamed. Margaret learned to pray and help others despite her disabilities. She helped so many with her faith and praying. When she passed, it was said that she had three pearls embedded in her heart with religious symbols, images of the Lord, the Blessed Virgin, and Joseph. What can you tell us about that? Three cards. One. Two, three. I just see a sim uh, as a symbol a tulip growing in a spring. Symbol of spring. I don't understand why I see this, and it was. It is the strong flower that grows faster than others because it's capable to come under the snow. So she had that abilities to, to be the strong one and bloom, bloom to, to our pleasure, to, to everyone to see her. And in the spring, everyone is so happy to, to have that the beautiful uh, white uh, tulip. That what she, I see her as a symbol of being resistant to the weather, to the every ob obstacles that were surrounding her, and uh, be the same that she was. I don't know if I really believe about those pearls in her heart because that will kill her. And how come they can be dead? Well, they were embedded afterwards, like embedded. Oh, okay. So sorry, that, embedded that, when she passed away. Oh, okay. So that that's I I thought that they were there when she was alive. So that would be kind of um, impossible. But I understand that she was a saint, and. Uh, Ami, in my live stream, she was saying that the kids are coming to her and the animals are so nice to her. They are not that friendly to other people. So some people have that ability to give more and they expose this life to, to be nicer. And maybe the first step is to animals and maybe later to, to humans. Mm -hmm making decisions. She was capable of making those decisions for herself, very secure. Every time she was so secure about who she was, not looking for outside, it was for inside. And she was sent by God to this earth to, to help people. The judgment card, how nice to have that card right now and to explain it was not easy for her, but that was the, the, the journey she chose as a, when she was coming to this earth. That was her gift to people. She was lucky that people adore her. Um, can I finish with one last question? Oh, here? sorry. <laughs> I will add the, because I thought that it was last and so I, and we sorry, have I should have to, warned you, two-parter. <laughs> okay, and then we have to say about the mm -hmm. volcano. Um, so the last one uh, that Jessica was asking is, um, well, she says, I feel how beautiful her love was despite being abandoned and living on the streets. I would like to know, does she have a message for us? Okay, three cards. One. People can go through the cactuses and 
hurt themselves but helping others. So she is saying, don't be afraid to, to be poke and hurt if, if you can go through it and help others, that that's your mission. Oh, poor girl, poor lady. She was angel, she is an angel right now and with the angels helping us with our problems when we are going up and down and bringing us the harvest of our lives to, to be fulfilled with goodness and blessings and be nice to others. You always shock me. Oh, and then I have, <laughs> but that was beautiful actually, you know, to, to see her going through the cactuses and squeezing herself and exploding, ex being hurt, but moving through it. It's not easy. And it was like they were in the, like next to each other and she's slim and trying to, to go through it. Mm. And uh, what else I, I wanted to say about the volcano Las Palma and uh, we, uh, you asked me on the live stream, uh, mm -hmm. no I was asked uh, on the live stream uh, about that and uh, I know it will be horrific, it will make uh, damages, people will have to move out. The vision that I had, it was like when I was learn first time I was 12 years old when I, my girlfriend was introducing me to the smoking and that was stupid idea, not ever well appreciated by my uncle. So he was spanking me and I was stubborn. I was saying that I was small because he was spanking me. Well, he was only mm -hmm. <laughs> 10 years older than me, so I f didn't have respect for someone who, and I said, I told the truth, so don't, don't blame me. And uh, later on, my mom asked me not to smoke and promised her that I will smoke. Okay, you can smoke. You said that you will smoke, but when you are 18 and after 18, I was too smart to smoke. But, uh, you know, it is that uh, the smoke probably can kill so many people because it will be that this donut that uh, fumes from the volcano may be very dramatic to, 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 to the lungs for the people. Uh, the um, su tsunami that everyone is afraid in USA it can reach USA, but after eight hours, so it's not that it will make too much damage. It can make more damage to Morocco or South, uh, the um, West Sahara, but Sahara is not that, I don't know how many people they have there. Morocco can be hit by the wave, but I, I don't know uh, how bad it will, I don't think it will be bad in America. And I think the most of the lava will go on the center of the island, not outside. And 50,000 people are living there, so the, the damage from the smoke inhalation might be really bad. That I understand my vision and I repeat that one because it was on the live stream and Mary, Mary T asked me about that too, so I wanted to, to know that because it was very interesting question right now. So we will do the circle right. of positive energy. Positive energy we have to send each other and we have to pray for soul of Gabi that was found dead and for everyone who is lost or who lost someone in the life, you know, this lifetime. I want to pray for, for those lost souls and for mental illness that people will know how to help themselves when they feel that they have problem that they will go and search for for professional help 
and they will not expose themselves to the relationships that are damaging to them, that they will be able to pull out from the, the wrong mar uh, marriage or, or relationship without, you know, being mean. That that's the main thing, is not to hurt uh, someone, just politely remove themselves. And so it will not accelerate to the point that it's out of control. And for those immigrants who are coming, that they will be able to find the jobs in their own countries, that there will be no droughts in South Africa, uh, America, or uh, not floods in you, uh, in some part of the world. So we want to pray for, for the better outcome of controlling the environment. I love you guys. See you next time. Do you want to add something to the prayers? Thank you for coming. Thank you for helping me. And thank you everyone for watching me. Please subscribe, likes, send likes, uh, because that helps my channel to survive. <laughs> And please write me comments and questions for the next video. I'm as good as your, your I'm sorry, as your questions. So please send them to me. Thanks all so much. Thank you. And love your animals. They are treasured for us. And Tracy is struggling because her puppy is going for operation next week. And she has a problem with her tooth. Be poor. I'm sure it will be fine, but it's still hard to watch your um, you yeah. know, your baby be in pain and being suffering. Yeah. Thanks, everyone, so much. Thank you. Bye-bye.